Well, I want to do a build from scratch, and I finally, finally uncovered my motherboard box. But it is buried behind everything. It was under everything. I mean, look at how many <laughs> Rubbermaids I've got stacked up on either side. And, uh, yes, maybe, maybe that'll be something for another day, but, uh, not today. Anyway, let me see if maybe I can get in there and see what I've got. Come on. Whoopsies. Get up out of there. Well, that one has a CPU and bad capacitors. That one's got an Asus Black Pearl Pentium 4 board. That could be interesting. What else do I have? Force 2, not with onboard graphics. So this looks like socket uh, 462, most likely. It'd be nice if that was a socket 370 board, but I can already see the AMD logo on the fan. This is one where I've already replaced the capacitors on it, so that could be an option. Socket 462. Bad capacitors. Oh. Get out of there. Socket 462. Bad capacitors. Socket 462 via chipset. Only two RAM slots. I don't see any bad capacitors on this one. Oh, boy. Socket 462 and Force 2 with the built in G Force. Let's see. I don't see any bad capacitors. Oh, oh dear. That's a Dell motherboard, so we can ignore the oh. Bad capacitors. Looks like another Dell. Can't tell immediately, but doesn't matter. Bad capacitors. Actually, no. Hold on. This has got to be a dull motherboard, but I don't trust it. No hold down anyway. Oh. Socket 462. I don't see any bad capacitors. Another Enforce 2 with the AGP uh, Onboard graphics. Let's see. Ooh, Pentium 4 board, Asus. I don't see any bad capacitors, but this one says bad on it. I don't know who wrote that, so this might have deeper issues. I'm running out of space up here, so we're gonna just leave that in there. Oh! Socket 939. 
Looks like this is a weird board. Huh. I'm going to have to investigate this one. Uh, socket 462, bad capacitors. Socket 754. Okay, that's a weird one. I don't think I have any CPUs for that. This is a Duron board. Huh. I don't see any bad capacitors either. I should investigate that later. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I see something weird. Oh no, it's another one of these. Ooh, but it's fully populated with RAM bus. That's a gig of RAM. I could use that. Okay, this uh, this board might save me for the uh, the Chungus build. We're gonna take that. <sighs> that looks like a Pentium three. That could be interesting. Hey, hold on. This is a Socket 7 motherboard. Ooh. Uh, I think I see another Socket 7 motherboard there, but what's this? Eh. Pentium 4 looks like a Dell. Eh. Oh, I'm running out of arm. Medium 4 board, bad capacitors. Wow. Some of these are really bent. Okay, what's this one? Pentium 4. Prescott 800. That's an interesting board via chipset. Bad capacitors. Okay, what's this one? Ugh. Socket 7, ATX. Okay. Huh. I think that I broke this board. I think that I put a Celeron in here that had a higher voltage requirement. It was like a 2.1 volt CPU. And the jumpers were set for like 1.8. It might have even had a higher requirement, like 2.5. But uh, it worked for a while and then it stopped booting and it was complaining about voltage so I think that I overloaded the CPU VRM and drew too much current through it I've kept this board because it's socket 7 and it's standard ATX no uh... no weirdness there you know you've even got USB on it built-in sound this is a good good motherboard and I have got to save this eventually. Maybe I'll give it another shot. And I don't think I can reach all of these but another Asus P4. This could be a fun build but not today. I see some tiny scissors. Another P4. Dell. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, I can't actually reach that one. Oh. Oh. Pentium 4 looks like a Dell motherboard. I see bent capacitors, but I don't see bad ones. Okay, what's that? Two, three more? I see an ISA slot. Ooh! Slot 1, most likely. This could be interesting. Let's give this one a shot. Some of the capacitors on that one are bent as well. Oh, okay. Huh. Pinning 4. Don't see any bad capacitors. Intel chipset. 
onboard graphics. That's going to be the Intel i762 chip, most likely. No easy upgrade path, so this... I hate to say it, but this motherboard's kind of, kind of useless. Looks like the battery thing's been bent quite a bit. Anyway, let me have a quick look through the things that I just pulled out and see what makes the most sense to try. Oh. Well, let's start with the one that's most likely to work. And that's this quite nice uh, Asus Black Pearl board. I was able to find these in an old box as well. I have no idea if they're any good anymore. I've probably had them sitting for damn near 10 years at this point. Uh, let's see, I'm going to assume that there is a CPU already in there, and I'm going to assume DDR1, that looks correct. Hopefully, this will be as simple as plug and play. That would be a very, very welcome sight for the evening. Let's get this plugged in as well. That is a really short cable. Box half the motherboard. Okay. Uh, this ought to work. Let's see. Power button. Oh, I didn't plug in the uh, <coughs> monitor. Oh, there's no onboard graphics. Hmm. Well, I suppose that also puts a little bit of a damper on things, doesn't it? Wow, I've just got everything all tangled up here. Need a keyboard too. Okay. Graphics card. Graphics card. Uh, let's try this Riva TNT. I need to set this on something. Uh, what do I have? That's non-conductive. Yeah, that'll work. Don't judge me. Okay. Uh, Now let's see. Okay. This motherboard's probably just fine. I'm noticing some weirdness with the uh, CPU cooler there. Huh. Okay. Well, that's broken. Uh, I can fix that, I'm sure. Anyway, that is awesome news for me. One working motherboard that we could do something with. Moving on, where am I going to even put this? Here. Let's try this one. I don't have a lot of Pentium 3 stuff, so if this works that would be pretty awesome. I need some RAM though. This should do the trick. No, that's DDR. That will not, in fact, do the trick. I don't know if it supports ECC, so we're going to go for non-ECC. And I have a lot more ECC than I have non-ECC. Ok, 
Okay, we're going to assume there's a CPU under there. Looks like I need this again. No P4 connector this time. Okay. Where is the power button? Oh. It would be nice if this worked. Oh! Hey! Yeah! That'll do it. Perfect. Okay. Pending 3, 1 gigahertz. Okay. Damn, Daniel. Your mom gave you a gigahertz? Greedy cunt. Okay. So, <laughs> that's amazing. I am very, very pleased with that. That's awesome. So, let us go ahead. <clears throat> uh, I don't know how I'm going to test this one. I'll get that later. But this one, I'm pretty sure this is bad. Uh, like I said, I, I did the oopsies on this motherboard. Like, six, seven years ago, I think. But we're going to try it anyway. Uh, got a Pentium here of some unknown type. I think it's a Pentium 133. We are looking at SY022 if you want to look it up for yourself. Uh, yeah. Oh no, the, some pins are bent. Oh no, a lot of the pins are bent. Um, that is inconvenient. Do I have another Pentium within arm's reach? Where's my... There's my box of CPUs. Do I have a Pentium? 486 Pentium. And it looks like this is also an SY022. I think most of the pins are good on this one, so we're going to go ahead and hope that it just sockets right in. <sighs> that grease is awful. Uh, we should have a heat sink, but I don't have one handy, so we're going to just power it on briefly. I don't even think it's going to boot, or post rather. Does this say the voltage? Probably not. We're gonna hope that we're good. I need this again. That does not have onboard graphics. Looks like this is a ALI motherboard. That says 100 megahertz. That's probably the front side bus. I wish I knew more about this. Oh, it's an ASUS P5A. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what chipset this is. I don't know how to turn it on. Will you work? I really don't think so. I also don't have any fans. Power supply fan turned on. Oh, oh my god, it worked. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I swore this was a broken motherboard. Okay. Uh, that was a... Maybe the CPU went bad last time. But that was a Pentium 100. It was not a 133. Okay. 
Oh, I have a Pentium board. I have a, I have an ATX Super Socket 7 that isn't broken. That's, uh... <laughs> Whew, that is amazing. I need to find a heat sink for this. I've got one somewhere. Interesting. That's awesome. I need to look up the, uh, the proper voltage for this. Because the jumpers for voltage are right here. And... I'm not making that mistake again. Okay. <clears throat> so now comes... Uh, we're going to leave that CPU in there. We know it works. Let's see. Got this motherboard. Wow, that's a big ding on that capacitor there. I bet you that's going to explode. So we're going to try it anyway. Uh, let me grab a Pentium 2 real quick. I've got one over here. <clears throat> well, we'll do a Pentium 2 Celeron. I've got no way to hold it in place, but that's fine. Now, where does the fan connect to? I only see one power connector for a fan, so we're gonna plug it in there. Looks like we need our SD RAM again. Ah, okay. Need our graphics card again. I am so used to motherboards having onboard graphics. Where's the power connector? Over here. Okay, I'm going to actually kind of, oh, it's already turning on. Uh, no luck so far. But actually, why is it even doing that? Oh, the pins are all squished. They're making contact with each other, okay. So this, this has got to be a Dell or some other power on. Okay. Speaker reset, power LED, HDD LED, infrared sleep power on. What? That doesn't make any sense. Let's, okay. Looks like it's got a built-in creative sound card, which is kind of nifty. It may not be compatible with this uh, Celeron, and this Celeron also may just not work. So we're going to grab another one. Now this is a proper Pentium 2. Uh, I think this is a Pentium 2 450, so this is actually a... Pretty decent little card. I heard the power supply turn on. So yeah, every time I flip the switch, this thing just turns on. Oh, I wish I knew which button, or which jumpers the front panel was. I don't want to just start touching things. Now this says power on. This board might actually work, I just don't know how to use it. So, for now, we're going to set it aside because that's about all I can do without do. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, that's. I found the uh, CPU fan. Nope, nope, that says fan 3. Anyway, let's move on. There. 
CPU, there's no hold down on this board. <clears throat> SL37M is the This is a 440BX. I've heard that before, but I don't know where. I don't know if that's good or bad. Which means... Uh, how am I going to test this? Well... We'll try. Where's our Pentium that well? Yeah. Oh. Ugh. This looks like a baby AT motherboard. Boy, it would be very nice to get two socket seven motherboards working tonight. And by that I mean to find two working socket 7 motherboards even if one is baby AT it's got the CR2032 battery hold down which is very nice standard ATX power supply I, obviously the DIN connector doesn't really matter too much because I do have multiple adapters but I need a PCI video card pretty sure I've got one like right here somewhere And now I do. Oh, wait a minute, I think I see it. Nope, that's a motor. Matrox, what's this? That's uh, another modem. PCI all in wonder right around here somewhere I could probably use. I just got to find it. Nope, that's AGP. Um, that Voodoo Banshee is AGP. Nope, nope. AGP, AGP. Wait, here we go. <coughs> here we go. Matrox G450 to the rescue. The top one is monitor one, okay. Which one is dim? Oh, the top one is dim one, okay. So the furthest from the socket. So all I need to do, assuming that the ATX power Oh, I heard the power supply turn on. I don't like it when boards do that because that makes me think that they are just turning on. Okay. Where is the power LED, message LED, key lock, system switch, power switch reset processor's barely warm I 
don't I don't know what the dip switches do. Okay, this is this one here is V core. We are currently set to Zero, off, on, off, on. Only two and nine are set to on. That's, that's not listed here. Okay. So this, I need to do a little more research on, I think. Uh, I barely felt the CPU get warm at all. We're actually going to just try a different RAM slot. Don't think that'll work, but you never know. Uh, the power supply didn't immediately turn on. Power switch. Turned on. No video yet. I can feel the CPU getting warm, so something's happening. And quite frankly, with the jumpers being a mystery, I don't think I want to run this too much longer because you do risk breaking things pretty fast with these motherboards. So, this one is an unknown. The slot motherboard is also an unknown, but I'm pretty sure that one will work. Uh, the ATX Socket 7 motherboard is working, which is phenomenal. The ASUS motherboard was working, and the, well I guess they're both ASUS motherboards, the ASUS Pentium 4 worked, and the ASUS Pentium 3 worked. We're going to put this back in just to make sure that I didn't just kill the CPU with that baby AT board. Uh, that would be unfortunate, but Pentiums sell like... They're, they don't cost anything, especially the Pentium 100s. And clearly, I have another. I just need to fix those pins. So, do we still work? That is the question. I hope so. I need to get a CPU fan for that. So, do we still work? Yes, okay. Pentium S100. Whatever the heck that means, I'm not familiar with the Pentium S. Anyway, I'm not really feeling up doing much, up to doing much more tonight. I still have COVID. I'm getting a heck of a lot better, but my energy is just way down. So, let me know in the comment section what you think I should do with this lot of motherboards. I'm pretty sure I have a cooler for this. Not that it gets that warm anyway. Um, <clears throat> it would be nice to get a 486 system working. Does 486... No, these don't work in socket 7. No. I need like a socket 5 or something for that. SX2. Uh, let me know what you think I should do with these motherboards. Uh, if you have any ideas for that baby AT motherboard, something I could try with that, let me know. Um, 
I do have an AT style power supply, so we could try that instead of the ATX. Um, should I do a reverse sleeper with one of these motherboards? It would be kind of funny to see this motherboard in a completely modern case. Uh, yeah, then let me know what I should do with this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will work. I just need to either find, maybe it has a different type of RAM that it needs or a different speed. Um, I'm sure I can do something to make this fire up. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I would like to thank my Patreon members for helping cheer me on throughout this. Um, I'm just dead.